Sup dogs, and welcome to the fourth night of 25 Nights to Christmas. You know, now that I think about it, I think that there it should be 24 nights just because the 25th night is the night of Christmas, so 24th would be the last night, if that makes sense. I, I don't know. I guess for now we'll call it, we'll say 24 nights, and then the 25th night is actually Christmas. Anyways, <laughs> for this episode, it is by Cy Wombats, entitled Doomsday Clock. So, a group of students receive a coded broadcast in the middle of the night. And that's it. That's all we know. That's all we're given. So, hopefully, it's promising. I believe that would be this one. Doomsday clock! Although, shouldn't it be like Doomsday Radio then? I don't know. I think so. The year? 2011. Hey, that's when I graduated high school. The date? April 11th. The time? 7 p.m. DEFCON Level 2. This chapter best experience in full screen with headphones during the early hours of the morning, preferably with minimum ambient light. Well, lucky for you, it's 9.49 a.m. That's probably not early enough, but th that'll do, I guess. I missed the last thing, but I swear I didn't plan this ahead. 7 p.m. Hey y'all, I'm back. Anyone? Hey, it's Martin. How was the trip? Enjoy the cardio? Tomorrow, you're the one running errands. Every time I walk the 15 floors up here, I want to die. You have everything for tonight? I like how he just ignores me. Groceries for four. Also, my arms are about to fall off. Hey, I just thought, but we could probably use some ice if... Get it yourself, Kale. No way I'm headed back down and up again today. What's wrong with the elevators? Where's everyone else, anyway? Just me tonight, you know? Doesn't that sound good? Candlelight dinner, you and me. Seriously though, Naomi's the only one over 21, so she's out grabbing the drinks, and Violet's the only one left in the universe that can still goes that still goes to classes. Tomorrow I'll go to the cryptography lecture at least. I get you're a huge nerd, Martin, but come on, it's pointless. Any time now, the Soviets are going to dump a few missiles on this place. What? This is Soviets? What? 2011? I guess that's a joke. <laughs> The university is practically on top of the National Systems Research Lab. When everything goes up in flames, we're number one on the target list. Okay, maybe literally like number 12, but still, it's, it's been three weeks. They should just cancel the semester. I know the world's probably going to end one way or another before I get any use out of organic chemistry or any of that stuff. But at least with crypto, I can be more helpful with the club than like you. Yes, har har. Cal is a moron. Good one. Slapping my lee. Singin's a joke of a club anyway. Say no intelligence? I'm pretty sure I doomed myself to a life of loneliness when I joined up. Weird how you hang out here all the time then. That's all anyone around here does. Hang out. Well, except for Naomi, I guess. Dude, Martin, clearly he's just here for Naomi. Evening. Speak of the devil. The devil? It's a figure of speech. Oh, it's a figure of speech. Well, well, I have the wine for dinner. Four bottles? We'll be charred skeleton before we finish all that. Somehow, I think you'll make a good den on those, Kale. Oh, I will, I will. Naomi, you're a goddess. Let's get all this to the kitchen. If I'm a goddess, then help me move the satellite dish. Fine, fine. Where are we pointing that monster on the roof anyway? Going to try to pick up some stuff from the National Systems Lab? Or is it back to Mother Russia tonight? Russia, the numbers. That weird ass station creeps me out. Fine, I guess I owe you one. Hmm. I'll start cooking then. Hey Martin, 
Ping me if I'm still trapped up in the roof when Violet shows up. I need to give her crap for going to class again. Whatever, Kale. Try not to make any sudden falls up there. Hey, you know I just bounced right up when I hit the ground. It's all good. To satellite, come. Oh, come down. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, so I guess Kale is not after either of the chicks. So, uh... What's he here for? <laughs> Fifteen stories, and we're the top floor. I swear, when in the Lord's name are they going to fix that elevator? Hello? Anyone home in here? Hi, Violet. Everyone's here. It's just Kale and Naomi are up on the roof again. Well, good evening then, Martin. But turn a light on or something. Oh, sorry. I just lost track of time. This place is a tomb enough as it is without your cooking in the dark. Now, let's see. Wait, Violet, that switch, I think... You mean the light switch? Five. Zero. Five. One. I think Naomi hooked it up to the radio yesterday. She what? And they're tuning it to her weird numbers show again? And she puts... Okay, how do I change the channel? The knob right next to it is the frequency. Martin, that's the fan speed. Uh, it might have been yesterday, but... Oh, I swear, when she gets down from the roof, I'm having a word with that girl. Rewiring everything everywhere and all this cloak and dagger garbage. She's going to drive me crazy one of these days. You say that about everyone. Fair enough, dinner is still on tonight. Right? I think Kale's going to organize it every day until there aren't any dates left. If you stop being so fantastic, maybe I'll help you cook. Fine, I don't think I was being that. And uh, let's put on the news or something instead of listening to that nonsense they're snooping up upstairs. How do I get this on FM? Oh no, don't get me the copyright claims! As tensions continue to rise, the president issued a statement condemning Soviet naval actions in the area, but the ambassador declined to comment. With protests continuing on college campuses and city squares throughout this country, schools remained canceled in several states, while others were de facto shut down when students failed to attend for the third, stri third straight. Hackers were suspected in the most recent power outage, but authorities remain unable to pinpoint the source of recent blackouts that declining morale. With DEFCON 2 still in effect, the Joint Chiefs of Staff held a press conference this afternoon, warning that military action would be inevitable <laughs> would be inevitable if... Man, that's depressing to listen to all day. Can't get anything done if you're not up to date. Martin, you've got a call. Sorry, it's family. I should take that. I don't mind. Ah, this is cool. Martin, are you there? Yeah, hi, I'm here. It's a face chat. Andres, you can see me. Just making sure it was you. There are plenty of ways to fake a video call. Damn, so top secret. I'm very paranoid, I see. Working at National Assistance will do that. I'd tell you about it, some of this shit, but how is my clearance? They say half of new hires drop in the first two years. I'm practically the worst senior guy on my team already. What's up? I was going to ask you the same thing. Didn't you try to call me an hour ago? Don't think so. Well, whatever. I was going to check in again tonight and see if you were alive anyway. Alive? Hey, if I'm dead, it's going to be with everyone else when the nuke stuff starts flying. I meant the protest today. Oh. I've mostly stuck indoors to the tower. I don't have any important class until tomorrow. Good, that's what you should be doing. Say all those marches, Martin. That's some bad business. They're just troublemakers. I doubt the organizer are actually students. Uh, the government's not going to listen to protesters. If the brass decides it's time to strike, we'll strike. The Soviets won't know what hit them. Stay inside and let our people take care of it. Your people? Like I said, I wish I could talk more, but... Security and all that. Safe to say, though, if it comes to war, even nuclear war, it's going to be won on the back of National Systems Technology. Sounds like NS does have a few tricks, huh? 
Of course we do. Hey, I'm still at the lab here, so I can't come by tonight, but that's fine. I'm catching dinner with the guys at Sigint again. Ah, those people. Well, that's fine. Give me a call if anything happens, and stay away from those so-called peace rallies, okay? Got it. Catch you later, Andrus. Roger. Stay safe. I guess that was your brother. Yeah. It's not like you get any other call apart from your loudmouth. Have you even met him? All those NS texts are the same. They talk like they're the masters of the universe, and meanwhile, they're hatching a modern-day Manhattan project in the Dungeon of the Airs. If we end up attacking the USSR first, it'll be thanks to them. Your brother's as guilty as the rest. I guess you went to the rally today. What? Psh. I practically organized it. And what did you do today? Not much, really. I put some more time in trying to decode that weird signal Naomi picked up last week on an NS frequency, but no luck. Well, better than nothing, I guess. I still think it'd be more productive if you showed up at the marches rather than puzzling over these obscure signals. Or else, you know, went to class. Up to you, I guess. Hey. Oh, I can't tell if the timer is working on its own or if it's actually with the script. Well, looks who's here. It's Violet and more blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, I skipped it. If I'd known you were going to be around, I wouldn't have shown up. Oh, come on. I come here every day. I practically sleep here. You do sleep here, you loot. Because you do absolutely nothing at all. Hey, I just came down from re-aiming the dish. I should at least get to turn on the TV or something. Hey, isn't that an FM station anyway? I've got something much better in mind. Oh, no, not... Welcome back to Truth Network. This is your quick update for tonight. Agitators and paid protesters continue to conduct false flag demonstrations across campuses this week. Know someone with more info? Have a theory? Please call. Please call in. At 11 a Oh, I thought it was 11 AJ, like AM. At 11, AJ the Oracle is back for a full hour discussion of minutes to midnight. Coming up in the AM, we got an expose on the communist agents in Governor's Mansion across the nation. Plus, breaking news on the movements of Cap Capras, the secret society behind today's nuclear threat. We interview an ex-general who saw the Capras ring multiple times, even at the White House. But first, we have tonight's first guest, Dr. Rudolf von Dahl, the foremost expert on the reptilian men in their sewer abodes. Toto garbage. But, I was... Truth Network. How can you dislike the truth, Violet? And Naomi likes them too. Okay, maybe he does have a crush on Naomi. Oh please, Naomi don't buy Kale's garbage. Also, I need to have a word with you about some of the wiring modifications to your improvements. They certainly are not. Come on, let's get the radio back on before we miss out on Reptilman. Even Martin's a fan. Hey, leave me out of it. See? He didn't deny it. You're insufferable. Come on, calm down. Food's ready. <clears throat> Before we begin, I'd like to say a few words. Oh, not this again. What is it? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Last Supper of the NS University Singing Club. Tomorrow, we could be fine. Or tomorrow, we could be radioactive waste. Tomorrow, life may continue in uncertainty. Or tomorrow, a klaxon could wake us up before we're nuked a second later. The only thing we know is, today is certain. Friends and sort of friends, hurrah! Cheers. I'll drink to that. Cheers, cheers. You're somehow the best I've got. On a bad toast, Kale. He's had four nights before this to refine it. And hopefully this was just practice for the real Last Supper tomorrow night. And after that, we can all be killed. 
or have another last supper, whichever. Look, I get Gal's humor, but can't you find anything else to get on about? That's all anyone can think about is judging, fruitian, hierarchy of needs. If someone's probably going to be dead tomorrow, they're not going to care about anything but their impending doom. When your impending doom has been impending for three weeks straight, things get a little bonkers. I suppose, but it feels like picking at a scab. Naomi, any luck finding the sources of those numbers yet? National systems, got to be. Signals too strong that direction. Hey, it could always be the reptilian. Hey, it could always be the reptile people. They just said they have a base out that way. Then, me, why is it only active at certain times of night? Soviet satellites, no doubt. If not Soviet ones, then ours, or even NS ones. It's not, it's not like the military would disclose things like that. Hell, they'd probably arrest us all if they knew we were listening in. Sure enough, the state is the oppressor. If you're so passionate about it, Come march with me tomorrow. I'm an organizer for a protest outside the NS lab. I intend to be glowing green ash tomorrow. Thank you very much. Plus, he's only ever passionate after a couple of drinks. Then, bottoms up. Can't hurt. Here, here. Let's be passionate or dead tomorrow so long as we're not boring. Dude, Cal is like super sarcastic. Cal. Cal. Wake up. Almost that time. He's out cold, Naomi. What's up? We're out of alignment. Satellite, 5 degrees west. Signal's moving tonight. The, it's the satellite. Christ, what time is it? It's almost 11. Don't tell me I slept through minutes to midnight with AJ the Oracle. I. How we move the dish? The what? Oh, oh, I'm on it. Let's do this. Yay. Naomi, he's going to fall off the roof. Don't. It's fine. Back in two minutes. Martin, don't let AJ's show start without me. I mean, it's not like I have control <laughs> for the show to start with or without him. You do realize it's pouring out, right? Kills in no state of mind. Down the only would even notice. I guess if it's raining that hard, then you're staying over. Yeah, no point in going home now. Plus, one of the benefits of University Tower is that there's a generator if we lose power again. Are you reading the news? All the Russian language sites are putting out their pieces for the day. They're not looking great. Oh yeah? The propaganda papers are going full blusters, and from what I can tell from the students group, they're just like us. Too depressed to be scared, or else too wound up to be depressed. I know the university students over there risk their lives to publish this. Wish I could make any difference like that. You're doing fine. Martin. What's up? Martin. It's raining cats and hogs. Can the Ruskies hurry up and kill us all before I catch a fever? You're dripping all over the carpet. We don't even have carpet, Naomi. It's clearly wood tile. Wood wooden floors. Wood flooring. Wood, wood. You're one to talk, so are you. You're one to talk, so are you. You're the reason I'm wet as a rat in the first place. Also, you can't. Oh man, why were we up there again? The numbers. The what? Vegeta Oracle warned me about this. On the fourth night, the numbers are. They. Kale, go to bed. Martin, we gotta tune in. Where'd we move the speaker switch? Er, uh, kitchen light switch, I think. And is the dial the frequency again? Or does the station change the fan speed? Or. Yes, the fan dial controls the frequency, but I check my Naomi before screwing with that. Don't touch. Then... 
What did I even do? <laughs> I mean, what did Kale even do? Time to break out the ham radio. I'm feeling smarter already. Truth Network will rot your brain. If it's even possible, you could get any worse. It's only my liver taking the beating, not my brain. Now hit the switch, Martin, and let's bask in the words of AJ the Oracle. Where did I hit the switch? Good evening. Welcome to Minutes to Minna. To begin the evening. Recently leaked documents have brought me news. I warned early as last week that Capra has continued to spread its roots. But these developments move past my previous warnings. This organization has infiltrated both this nation and the USSR. I'm trying to figure out his voice right now, but I just have no clue. Academia Academia and Intelligentsia compose their international ranks. The propaganda produced by national systems is a distraction. Their professors and researchers all wear the goat head ring. Their methods are shrouded. The secret noise is their key. But their purpose is clear. To plunge us all into nuclear catastrophe. Doomsday. Can you turn down that quack? Normal people would be sleeping right now. AJ's best at a uh, full volume. Yep, plus, we're the only ones in the building, so who cares? And AJ isn't a quack, he's a truth doctor. Doctor? I think he's got a degree. Yeah. If you listen to your actual professor instead of fringe radio personalities, seriously. Why does he use that crazy voice changer anyway? An aura of mystery surrounds the legendary oracle. Mm -hmm. Mostly the mystery of who lets the maniac on air in the first place. Well, I'm a bit woozy myself, so I'm off to bed at least. I'm not forgetting my sleeping meds either, before one of AJ's guests starts throwing a fit and wakes me up. Thanks for tuning in to a Truth Network, folks. AJ will be back tomorrow, same time. Don't miss it. Next up, Voices of the Nation, where we hear from the people who knows most about what's really going on today. You, our listeners. Oof. Let's turn this garbage off. Wonder if there's anything decent on TV or... Whoa. I just slipped on myself. Maybe because I'm so soaked after that, uh... Roof adventure. You can hardly stand up without tipping over, man. Get some dry clothes and some sleep. Not a bad idea. You're good people, Martin. It's too bad. When we're blasted to pieces tonight, you'll be at the pearly gates and I'll be, uh... Wherever Naomi is. Curse you for bringing me up to that roof. I swear, if I... If I keep falling over, damn it. Go downstairs, Kale. Second room to the left. Don't wake up, Violet. And... Don't trip yourself in the way there. Should I walk you? I will suffer no such embarrassment. Good night. Have a good one. <laughs> I like how Naomi just doesn't care. Yeah, I'm watching this. Whatever. <laughs> Intermission 1. Gotta be honest, I really like this one. It's a lot better than the previous episodes, and it's a dystopia look, and there's more characters and different personalities, so... Bravo, Saiwan Bats. I like it so far. It's also a long one. Oh, what? Oh. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> I thought when it said end intermission, I thought it meant, like, end the episode. But now we're good, we're good. Uh, hey, Naomi, what time is it? Naomi? Oh, she's got those headphones in again. Me too. Naomi, hey. Martin. I thought you'd be asleep by now. Martin. What are you even doing up this late? I drifted off, but Violet and Kale have been gone hours. Right? Here. Your headphones? But... It's time. Listen. Three. Two. One. Nine. Nine. Six. Seven. Seven. 
seven, three. I really four, hope that I do not have to remember one. any of this. <laughs> I can't remember the first three numbers. Guess they're back tonight. I don't get the numbers, Naomi. I do crypto. If it's coded, I can try to break it, but this is just random. Garbage. One time pad. If all they do is spout off numbers, no repeat, then it's noise. Without a key, it's meaningless. Not tonight. We repeat tonight. Keep listening. Five, three, two, nine. Five, three, two, nine. Six, zero, six, five. Six, zero, six, five. That one's new. One, one, eight. Jeez, this one's really long. One. Am I supposed to like enter through it? No, no. It's the sequence. Naomi, what is that music? Interval signal. What? It marks the start of the loop. The numbers. Before they were keeping the frequency clear. Clear. Tonight. Tonight they have a message. Message? It's just... You're the code breaker for Singit's Club. It's... what? 20 numbers? 40 maybe, on repeat. You can run a frequency analysis or something, but it's too short. I wouldn't know where to start with that. I guess not. Me neither. I wrote them down. Here, check your phone. Thanks, but maybe I can check tomorrow. But if nothing's repeated, it's just noise, right? Noise? Naomi, half the time, I can't tell you if you're listening to me or not. You got all this info written down, and if this is on repeat all night, what are you still doing here? Is that a computer game? Zephyr Skies. Come again? Zephyr Skies. It's an MMO, massively multiplayer online. I know, seems like everyone's playing these days, but it's multiplayer, right? Where's everyone else? Aren't you supposed to be playing with friends? You've died. Uh, I don't. Kale says tomorrow you might be gone, Martin, and Kale too, and Violet. How lonely. You're even stranger than usual tonight. Or are you the only one on the server again? If I'm the last one left, I'll be prepared. Everyone else is dead. I'm on my own. Have you never thought of that, Martin? Uh, t to be honest, I I've been so caught up in the past few weeks trying to keep Cal and Violet from killing each other. You mean, well, what if tonight really was the true Last Supper? If tomorrow, it was only you? Awful. I... I really don't want to think about it. I mean, if the whole world as we know it is gone, shouldn't I be gone too? I mean, if you're the last one of us, is that what's got you worked up? All I needed was someone to sit back to back. Even if we didn't talk much, we knew we were there. Each other. It all seems distant. Naomi, it's an online game. Snap out of it. You can roleplay Survivor all you want, but... Martin, your phone. Who on earth is calling me this late? Good evening. Sorry, who's calling, please? The frequency is 546210. That frequency... 546210, longitude 2775 north. Funny, Kale. Go to sleep. The latitude is 8273 west. Good evening. Yeah, goodbye. Hey. Hey. Hey? Oh, you're still there. Sorry, Naomi. I can't disappear, as convenient as it sounds. Who was calling? My what? I sorry Naomi, I didn't 
think I must have drank too much at dinner or something. Blink Kale. Or a prank call, I guess. Hey, do you know if Kale's got one of those voice vocoder voice changer things? You should try listening again, then maybe. I guess maybe someone held up their phone to the radio or something. Naomi, can you tune into Truth Network? I wonder if AJ is on right now. But the number station. They'll still be there. Let's just check what's going on with AJ's channel. Nothing. Weird. Truth Network would never be off the air completely. Still, I wonder. Martin, your phone. Just another stupid call this late, I'm sure. Maybe those radio guys run a prank show. But, they're asleep downstairs. Fine, what is it this time? Martin, you there? Pick up, you bastard. Andres, sorry, when you were calling, I thought you were... Never mind. It's super late, what's up? Is the world ending? Don't kid around, are you blind? Have you tried looking out through your window? This is a school run and alert system. DEFCOM 1, national system's gearing up. That's why you can see the aurora from there. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything weird going on outside to me. Turn on the TV, radio, something while the networks are still... Actually, never mind. I think at this point... Andres? Damn, did we just lose power? But we have a backup generator! Yeah, looks like another back blackout. Who was calling? That was Andres. At least I think. He seemed pretty worked up, but the call dropped when the power went out. Do you see anything outside, by the way? Just the stars. Weird. So that means the whole city's probably out. DNS labs too. And nothing like auras or auroras or just stars. I like Naomi and how simple she is. Although I feel like something twisted is gonna happen with her. Who knows? Yeah, can't see anything. Andres is probably just jumpy again. I guess there's nothing to do here but wait until the generator starts. Spooby? I think that was the generator, but, uh, hmm. Hey, Kale. Had a feeling you guys were gonna show up. Lord almighty, what was that noise? Why are all the lights off? Why am I, ooh. Sober up, you bum. The power went out again, obviously, and that was the generator kicking in. Yeah, but then why are all the lights off now? Must blown a fuse. Oh, sorry, it was Naomi. Must have blown a fuse. Oh, that sounds like fun, but I think I'm headed back to. You're not going back to sleep until we get that fuse replaced. But the electronics box is like 50 floors that way, and... And you're going to fix it, because you and Naomi are probably the only ones who know where that thing is. Sure, I'll go if you fix the elevator. Besides... The important thing is that the TV still has power. <laughs> I'm going to sit back and time how long it takes for this problem to, you know, fix itself. But the Wi-Fi. The whole campus looks like it's lost power. I see that lights are turning on at NS. Goes to show what priorities there are around here. And, er, uh, you don't see anything. Weird in the sky. Lights or anything? No, what's with you? Nothing. I, I guess someone with a bad sense of humor has my cell number, and tonight... Is it dark downstairs? Mostly. None of the classroom or those converted offices have much more than emergency lights. Looks like it's just the labs in this place up here that are hooked up to the backup generator. Makes sense, I guess. And we've just blown that thanks to... faulty wiring... Ahem. Sorry. Anything about the outage in the news, Kale? 
Couldn't even find the news if I tried. There are five channels still up and six of them are public access. You're just not looking hard enough. Here, let me. Emergency alert system. The Department of Defense had issued an emergency alert notification for the following countries, counties. While normal programming is suspended, most stations will remain on the air to convey emergency messages to your area. This station is NSBC, covering the National System Campus University and outlying areas. If you are not on the NS campus, please switch to a local broadcast channel for breaking news. It is requested that telephone and cellular networks be left clear for official use only. Stand by for an emergency alert message from the Department of Defense, which will air shortly. Emergency alert system. Department of Defense is. Yep, yep. So it's just gonna repeat itself now. Man, yeah, this is it. This episode is all. Episode and no play. I don't think I moved the character at all <laughs> once. Useless thing. It's on repeat. Where's the message? Holy... What could that mean? Mean? Well, there's only one thing that could possibly mean. Sorry, Naomi. Is that where... Don't say it. Like the missiles are in the air, or the jets are on their way, or the atom sats are armed, or... Well, whatever. I'm breaking open the Crown Royale, so Martin gets the shot glasses. No way I'm dying sober. Maybe we should consider getting onto a shelter or something instead of getting drunk. Maybe. Two minutes. What? Two minutes to go. According to Andres, anyway, when the Soviets pulled the trigger, that's how long it takes until the late model ICBMs start hitting the west coast. I mean, I guess maybe there's an old model headed for NS. And we're inland a bit. And there's those new defense programs. There is shelter is probably what? Campus center? And we got 15 flights of stairs to climb? Ugh. Maybe it's just some tornado or something. Martin, look at the goddamn TV. Everyone on the planet's known this what's coming for almost a month now. All those government bastards are doing is stalling until they can figure out the politest way to tell us that we're all dead. My phone's got no service. Oh, mine too. What a surprise! Guess they didn't need to warn us to stay off the cell networks. But Martin, your phone. Looks like looks fine to me. Because you're on your brother's NS plan, of course their cell towers would still be up. Not like I can call anyone though, but maybe Andres. We need to know what's going on out there, stats. I know you and him aren't the closest, but hurry and call him up. Give me your phone. Like, you even know my brother's number. I'll do it. Nothing so far. Your, your brother's not really someone I want to be listening to in my final moments, so whatever. Here. Cheers, Martin. One second. He might pick up at any... Wait. Andres, it's me, Martin. Is the power out over there? And did you get this alert on? That frequency is 546210. Longitude 2775 North. Latitude. Nothing. <laughs> uh, any luck? Are you misdialed? Or. I'm getting so many weird calls. Spit it out. What was it? Uh, I just got a recording. I think sort of like that voice changer that AJ the Oracle always uses. Wait, huh? AJ's on? Also, Martin, your drink's waiting. I kind of assumed it was your prank calling me, Kale. If I had that kind of genius, I'd have shown up on Truth Network already. Speaking of which, let's get those guys on. Don't know what's up. No cranks, no truth network crazies. Chances are, I've got five minutes to make the most of my life. So, so, I got the hand radio if you. 
then you're all set on staying put. Violet, if life as we know it is about to draw to a close, then I'm going to spend it up here with you all, figuring out what's going on. I'm not running down a dozen flights of stairs, damn it. Martin, well, keep your TV on. If they tell us f to find shelter or something, we'll do it. Then hit the switch, Naomi. Power on. Tuning in. Are they off air? No way. They have the call in shows late night. Maybe the military kicked them off. Naomi, is there anything else on? Let's scan FM. Doesn't seem like anything, Naomi. You guys are screwed. AM? I'm just waiting for like some alien to pop out of nowhere. Normal programming is suspended. Remain on the air. Covering NS University and stand by for a message from Department of Keep Keep going, Naomi. That station's just got the same alert. That's all there is. And the signal, too weak. AM should be stronger. The station's close. Could be interference. Inter interference? Bet my head on it. Too bad the power is out, or we could use the roof antenna. Just a blown circuit. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Just a blown circuit. I'm not walking downstairs to fix it, though. Sure as hell. Hey, look outside, everyone. The Aurora. Aurora. This looks dark to me. It's just our tower and the campus center that have backup generators, I think. Across, across the river and national systems. Why are they showing me stars then? <laughs> there we go. It's actually pretty cool. The how is going on over there? Place is lit up like a Christmas tree. Not just that. Looks. Not just that. Look up that sky. Aurora. Aurora Bellarellas. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh. it's actually kind of nice. Northern light. The Aurora. Aurora. Huh. It has to be one of those weapons, one of those trillion dollar contraptions NS gets the government to put under gag orders. Or it's the next state over going up and right commute as fire courtesy of the USSR. It's been two minutes. I guess. Christ. Check the clock. We're still here. Everyone. Congrats on another five minutes of life. I honestly thought I'd be dead at this point. Yeah. Judging by the sky out there. Not long to wait. Another drink? Martin? Or nice last words? Anyone? I'm not toasting to friendship or whatever, Kale. We've got to do. Well, something. Anyway. I'll die on my feet if, I co if it comes to it. Well, what do you want me to do? Go up to the roof and yop at the world? Although, that sounds pretty tempting right now. I won't have candles, or we should have a flashlight around, right? TV light is fine. Anything new on there? Nope, nothing but the goddamn noise. This is worse than just dying in my sleep sitting here. Are we really that bad that you'd rather be dead? I'm pretty sure this is our last night, so, you know, you could lighten up a bit. Well, no, I just always figured... Everything's supersonic, the ICBMs travel faster than our alert system, so... You're supposed to just go out in a blink, then even know it's coming. I never thought we'd just... Wait... We're all trapped in here while the road's going up to pieces out there. Yeah, sucks doesn't it? 
Drink this. At least it'll help. I'll take your whiskey, Kale, but Christ, you're an escapist. I prefer realist. Realist with all your conspiracy garbage? Give me a break. At least in the inevitable work of the Illuminati or the government or anyone else, we have to be able to fight back. Unless you're trying to say we should go hunting for Capra signet rings in the Earth's final minutes. What are you saying we should do? I don't know. That's why this is so frustrating. Just wish we had any idea what's going on out there. The light. Or what the Department of Defense has the airways shut down for. Can't be anything good. Well, maybe we can at least try to get some news. Any leads on working stations, Naomi? Yeah, got anything, Naomi? Naomi? N Naomi, take off the headphones. Five. Huh? Eight, two. What are you zero, even listening to? Five, Just numbers. Eight, two, zero, <sighs> three. If I wasn't six, already so nervous, six, the hairs on the back two, of my neck just stood up. Three, then six, I guess, Naomi, six, change the channel on the radio. Two, I've got a station we can try. Four, nine, What's the frequency? Six, seven, 520. Then, four, I'm sorry, nine, I, I don't remember. Six, I should have written it down. Seven, 416? Five, eight, Where'd you get that? Two, zero, Andres, or someone who had five, his number. Eight, Let's tune in. Two, I mean, then, zero, let's tune in. Then... Is the spoops finally gonna happen? I'm waiting for this moment. Just noise. Someone's been pulling my leg all night then. No, no, it isn't noise. Volume up. The hell is that? Someone talking backwards with a possum in their mouth? It's Russian. Russian? What are they saying? Shh. I'm sorry, it's really hard to make out. With quality like that, all I can get is a word or two. What words though? Come on! It's, um, what on earth? It's three or four people talking. I, I think it's a two-way frequency. I hear some speeds. No, those have to be coordinates. Long, long and lap. Someone just mentioned it. N nukes and, uh... I, I can't make it out. I'm sorry, it, it sounds important, and I can't even understand it. Try these. Headphones? Thanks. And I think I remember I had a direction for the station. A direction? Like, if we know roughly where these guys are broadcasting from, we can point the antenna there and get the full signal. How the hell do you know where they are and- wait. How'd you know the channel these guys were? Moot point anyway. The roof antenna is out of commission if the circuit's blown. Replace the fuse. What? Martin, go downstairs and replace the fuse. Kale, what is Capraz? Capraz is the international conspiracy of the elites to instigate a nuclear war to cleanse the earth for the... Wait, since when did you care about any of this? Look, just get that fuse fixed. I need to get the full signal before I know anything but... Violet, the electrical system's on the first floor. We're stuck up here on the 15th and only the backup generator's going. With the kind of time it take to get down there, we could get to a shelter at an S or a campus or... It won't help. Wait, what are you? I'll go. Look, I'm sorry. I'm trying to piece this together. I feel like I'm right on the cusp. I just need the key. And then I'll know what's going on. Thank you, Naomi. See you. Oh no, Naomi's gonna die! Naomi, Naomi, are you serious? Gonna spend your last moments on the unlit stairway on floor 11? I'll come to. Uh, do you really think we should split up? Cell service looks down. I'll take the radio. Two way. Great, Naomi, grab the spare. I'll use the one here. Push to talk. Kale, you, are you staying? I'd probably trip down as many stairs as I walk down at this point, so... Then get a pencil, you hump. <laughs> you lump. 
I have some numbers to copy. Roger, Captain. Oh my god, this thing is going on forever. I thought it was just gonna be 30 minutes. Where are we at? Like 50 minutes right now? I have no idea if it's about to end soon or if we're halfway. You said intermission 1, which means that there are multiple intermissions. Dang, this one's long. Man, I hate this. Naomi, what even got you to volunteer to go down here? Naomi? I'm here. What are you doing with that radio? Listening. Then why the- Oh, you're on a number station again. Get back on a two-way frequency. If there's any news from us here, we're gonna miss it while you're screwing around. There. What is with you in that station tonight? I'm so nervous, I can barely think straight, and you're still working on pet projects? What are you so nervous about? I don't know. That the world will end and I'll die confused and in the dark mostly? That's better than surviving, watching anyone suffer, than alone. What do you think happens after we die? What? I'm not really religious. I haven't thought much, I guess. Even when tonight, when that's probably how tonight ends. No, not really. Like, I think we all knew a night like this was coming, sort of. But now we're stuck in the middle, and I have way too much adrenaline pumping right now to get existential. Is that Kale and Violet? No, just interference. Two o one a.m. Huh. After we die, we can still talk. <laughs> Not what sounds, but signals. Just need the right frequency. Phone, radio, something higher. I know he would be trying to speak to me if he could. He? Died before I met any of you. Now, just a ghost in the machine. Maybe I'll see him again tonight. There are footsteps. I know it's their footsteps, but that was, that was still spooky. So we're starting to figure out a bit more about Naomi, huh? Well, this is the basement floor. Do you know the way? Oops. Arm button. <laughs> I hit the start button. Circuit box through there. Great, I hold the flashlight. You get the fuse. You're probably the most qualified to deal with this place firing. Give me a minute. <coughs> Alright, pass the radio. Thanks. Guys, it's so cold. This is what I'm doing. Kale. Kale, it's Martin. Kale? Martin, sorry. Everything's, uh, fine up here, mostly. I, I just forgot. I had to push the button, too. You know. Great. Naomi's working on the fuse now, so things should be back to normal up there soon. Nice, nice. Violet says hurry back when you're done so we can get the move on the antennas. Alright, we'll let you know when we're finished then. All done. Is that a pumpkin down there? It's weird. Huh? Doesn't seem too different down here. Still on backup power. Right. Yeah, hopefully our stuff's all running upstairs. You can radio in again. Before we go anywhere, uh... Naomi, we're pretty much on the ground floor. I know it looks like there's not a light on in the whole rest of campus, but... We could get out of here. Find a real fallout shelter. If everything's not blowing up in the next two minutes, then we can... Violet said that shelter wouldn't help. And I had no idea what she was talking about. If you want to leave, then I have to go back up. And I guess you should take the flashlight. Dude, Martin, you douche. We have to stick together. If you want to be the last of us, I can't stop you. Should I radio them? Kale? Violet? 
No, you're right. I'm coming with you. I'll take the flashlight. We're headed upstairs. We're going to figure out what's going on. I never doubted Singet wouldn't be the same without you. I still have a bad feeling about this. What? I, I honestly did not expect him to like double cross like that. I thought he would just be like, We can do this. Maybe if we could convince the others? But no, he, he was just about to go out for himself. Wow, Martin, you, you're such a loser. This is the third time today I've had to hike these stairs. Are you tired? No, not really. Jumping enough to not notice. I, I guess only eight floors to go, right? Your phone. Andres. Hey, real Andres this time. Martin. You there? Martin? I'm here. Uh, I've been trying to get through to you all night. What's up with the emergency alert? Is that the real thing? Alert? What are you talking about? Can't you hear those klaxons? Go somewhere safe. ASAP! I get it. We can't hear any. Where have you been, idiot? They've been at full volume since down in the dawn in the, the dawn. It's only 2.30. Your clock must be off. Listen! I don't know how you can't hear those air raid sirens, but listen, you need to take shelter. Not a one of our sister labs with a silo has called in. I know we're next. It's just a matter of minutes. I know. I'm not even sure a bunker will work. The ballistics guys were saying. Okay, well, we've got about one card left to play here, Martin. It's not looking good, so... Martin, I... Christ. Uh-oh. What? Andres, what are... Is... Is Andres alright? Naomi, look out the window. Everything's still there, right? No lights, no stars. Ines is there, in the Aurora. In your watch? It's 2.26 in the morning, April 12th. I guess Andres is, uh... I don't know what's going on over in Ines. Something very bad. I hate this. Can you check what's going on upstairs? We're out of the loop. Radio on. Naomi and Martin calling in. Please confirm. Yo, hey Naomi. Hey, we're just getting started up here. Violet's Rango got a whole sheet of data copied off that station and... I think she's got some sort of line to some lab. Don't tell me though. You mean she's in contact with NS? Is everything going normal, or...? Let me get her to give us an update. One second. Yeah, something to do with NS. Hey, the other on the TV updated. With? Hard to tell. They're saying the real message is gonna start soon. They're listening a bunch of times by county. What's it mean? Hell if I know. Wait. Violet says... What time is it now? A little past 2.30. Right. And she wants the coordinates for the station. The... what? Where's the station located? You know, where we got to point the antenna? We're gonna head up to the roof and do that now. I wrote this down. Er... 27... 7 north... 82... 7 west... about... Okay. Hey, Violet. Where is says the station's at? Where's that Martin? Hang on. So, uh, Violet says to ditch the radio? You're supposed to shut up and hurry back. Forget talking. Huh? Yeah, radio silence. Just, just turn everything off. She seems very assistant, so I'm just gonna do what she wants. You guys get up here fast. Got to see you one last time, you know? Kale, wait! What the heck is going on? I'm like, so confused with the events. And I'm so cold. It's a very cold morning, you guys. Oh my god. Intermission tell. How many more intermissions are there? I need to take a quick break too. Uh, warm up my little fingies and toesies. Alright guys, I am back and, well, prepared. Let's do this. <laughs> Intermission two. Intermission and
Finally back. Did I really lock the place up on our way down? Hey, Kale! Violet? It's dark. What gives? The fuse should be fixed. Why didn't they turn on the lights? There. But then where are... Kale? Violet? Maybe they're on the roof with the antenna already. The radio's on. TV, too. What? <clears throat> They're off the air. Does that mean we missed a message from the DOD? Or... Did they never get a chance to broadcast it? It's still on. Look, yeah, we need to meet up with Violet and Kale as soon as possible. Sounds like Violet knows what's going on. Can you see if they're on the radio? Maybe. That's their radio right here. They just left it behind. Damn it. Alright. Can you check if they're downstairs in the guest room somewhere? I'll head up to the roof real fast. <coughs> Excuse me. Take the radio. What? Oh, right. If they left theirs behind, we might as well use it to talk. Alright, see you. Soon, I hope. Adua. She's so strange. I did not expect something like that from her. I have a feeling that something bad happened to those two. Oh, for a second I thought I could walk, but... Hey, anyone out here? Kale, Violet. What are you guys doing? Uh oh. Not a soul. And a natural sky. And us glowing in the night. Yeah, it's just an antenna. For some reason it looks like an ear to me. You could just fall down at any moment. Me. Let me check the antenna. Huh? Oh. There's a hole in the roof. Twenty seven north. Maybe something west. Looks like it's already been adjusted. It must have been up here. And where the hell are Ooh a what? Kale! Kale, what the hell are you doing up here? You're soaking wet, what? Wake up you idiot. What what are Damn it, damn it, you hardly have a pulse. Oh, what do I? I need help. Naomi, Naomi, come in. I found Kale, he... Martin. I found Kale, he's barely breathing. Uh, I'm not sure if he's just drunk as hell, or if it's something else, but he's wet and I can barely find a pulse, and I need help moving him down it. Martin. Naomi, get out of here. Violet's gone. We don't have much time before... What? She left a note. Then, by gone, you mean... Martin, she says we all have 20 minutes. I don't get it, Naomi. One thing at a time. Please just come help me get Kale inside. 20 minutes, 3 a.m. Then maybe she made the right choice. No, no way, Violet, she... The balcony's open. I don't believe it. Martin... I think we've all known for almost an hour that this really was our last night. I'm changing the frequency. Naomi! No! Wait! Stay on the- I'm not very brave, so I might need a moment, but I want to hear him in that final moment. See you on the other side? What the hell is going on? Naomi... I can't tell if, if there's like a higher being going on right now or if it's just Soviets. Kale, hold on, hold. What did you do to yourself? You'll be fine, and Naomi will be fine, and I'll wake up fine. I was sure we were all going to end up burned up and bombed to hell together, 
So, why does it feel so much worse? Alright, that should... Okay. Need to get downstairs. Naomi, I have no idea what you think you're doing. All I got is four minutes, though. I'm not gonna make it if I just walk like that. Come on, Martin. Put some hustle. Now you got three. Oh, God. That's so stressful. How am I? Naomi. Three. Oh, this is the six, guest room. Six, two, the three, sound is getting six, louder. Six, Naomi? Two, Under the bed? Four. Don't hear about the damn nine, radio. Six. Seven. Four. Nine. Six, There's a note on the chair. Seven, I mean, is that blood? I can't tell. How the hell did this get open? No. Broken. I need to turn that noise off. Is that paper? I doubt anyone will be alive to read this, but a word of explanation. I put the piece together. The west coast is no more. LA took four missiles to population centers. The bay area took over a, world, a thousand to wipe out the bunkers. All the NS labs are craters now. 100 mile dead zones. Our government can't even begin to respond because they know that in an hour we won't have a government anymore. For us, the time is sooner. 3 a.m. The university takes a direct hit from a VK-3001 missile originally aimed for the NS lab. Ground Zero is 30 miles, 100% casualties. Game over. Everyone I ever know will be dead within an hour. I've made my peace. So, I'm going out on my terms. If you follow, I will see you on the other side. Here as always, bye then. Damn. Not possible. Not... Oh, Violet. She's the last person I expect to ever do something like... Something like this. A suicide note? Whatever happened to fighting? What about facing death with your eyes open? See you on the other side. That's how Naomi ended her call as well. Then... It's a 14 story drop. No, I shouldn't look. Oh my god. I would not expect Naomi to jump to. I thought she was gonna see it to the end as well. And that leaves me. The world's over with me. Alone. Nothing to do but watch it all end. Andres. Not really Andres. Andres, you still alive? Thank God you're still there. I'm still kicking, not for much longer. I don't think anyone else is alive at the tower. It's just me. Supposedly, we've got five minutes until it all burns. Actually, you probably have like one now. <laughs> it's probably already time up. How did you get that info? Never mind. Then it's 8.55? Five minutes to three. Do you mean... I knew it. They doubted, but I knew it. Martin, you got our signal. We're getting through. What the hell are you talking about? What do you think it's six hours later than it really is? Different threads. It's Capras. Sorry for the top. Alright, I need to hurry. We got five minutes and we can still salvage all of this. Capras is our shield, our last resort against a Soviet first strike. Andres, I don't care a tiny bit about a weapon or how many poor Russians go down with us. All my friends are dead. We're going to be dead with them in seconds. And you care about... That's not it at all. We cannot do most of it. Sort of. The Capras project splits time. The idea is we have to find a thread, one where everything goes right. If we start losing cities, we find a thread where that nukes just never happened. And then the theory is... This is all theoretical, secret, haven't tested it. Theory is we can jump. On my thread, the Soviets sabotage our silos and we lost every city with a military installation in a hundred mile radius. First wave of missiles hits NSN. Three minutes and counting. What's going on over there? Short version. I don't know. Power's out for the whole campus and the sky above NS is lit up red. What happens at 3 a.m.? Violet said that's when we all die. All the cities on the west coast are supposed to be gone. The DOD put out an alert, but... 
she figure that? Never mind. Damn. Then, then your thread is right. I can't do this. Unless... Martin, that glowing. That aura's electromagnetic inter... Interference. Interference? That aura's electromagnetic interference from Capra's. That's how I'm talking to you right now. How do you know the bombs are hitting? From a cell phone? Radio. Then we still have a chance. Look, I'm going to go down with the lab in a minute, so you're going to be on your own for this one. Here's what to do. There's a chance whatever signals you've been picking up are from another thread, another doomed timeline like mine where everything goes south. In that case, Capra's will keep spinning. But maybe you're able to speak to me now because your thread is the safe one, the true thread. How do I tell? Wait till 3am. If we failed, then you die. Our simulation says 80% casualty rate in the first hour of nuclear bombardment. After a year, 98%. But if past 3am, you're alive, and there's no threat, it's a false signal, or interference, or something else. Then you need to find your signature for Capra's. Signature? The Capra's project also involves a broadcast, where we send a unique signal to into each other's thread through our control situations. That unique signal is the thread signature. We need that to fix everything to the winning thread. The control station is disguised so we can do it anonymously. It's some crank talk radio. I'm going to give you a radio frequency. You need to tune it and give me the 32 digit bass, 16 string being broadcast on the frequency. If you survive past 3 a.m., if you can find that signal, if you have the signature, you call me up and give that to me. Okay, okay, so I tune in, take down the numbers, call you. Martin. I already know my thread's doomed. Until a minute, and I die with my co-workers and colleagues in the lab. You'll be calling. Some other me. Hopefully the other one on your thread. Tell me you're from Capra's, and I'll know what to do. I need... I need to go. Everyone is praying, or crying. I think some... Some have already ended it, but... I don't know what happens to dead threads, Martin. We have to trust the Capra's. Maybe this works. If it doesn't... Martin, you're my brother. And I love you. Never forget it. 1707 kilohertz. Good night. Andres, I... Damn, that was one long minute. Okay, okay, Martin. Put it together. Forget Naomi, forget Violet and Andres. There might still be a way out of this. 1707 kilohertz. 1707 kilohertz. I'll use the two-way. In two minutes to wait, and I have to hope. Hope. Where's the frequency on this? Damn, too, too low. Th that's out of range. I need to get upstairs and use the roof antenna to pick up a station that higher. Violet and Naomi, if you're out there. Whatever threads and undress finds, better have you guys in it. Damn. Alright, so just like that, everything's explained. Wow. Alright, pretty crazy, if I do say so myself. 1707 kilohertz, 1707. Naomi, I wish you were here to help me with this. Here goes nothing. What? No, what? Good evening. The frequency is undefined. The latitude is undefined. The longitude is undefined. No thread signature. Diagnostic code. Back to me. This broadcast is in correspondence with FCC guideline WRT DEFCON 1. Good evening. The frequency is undefined. AJ the Oracle. Andres, did you screw it up? Did you give me the frequency for Truth Network? What have they all got to do with it anyway? Do I try to find a station on my own? Is this it? There's some mistake, it's just over. Come on, where, where's the signature? Where's the signature? It's almost time, seconds now. Come on! A minute to go. One minute, life or death. Hello? What's this number? Andres? Who's there? 
There's another way. One without. That's my voice. Who is this? Are you talking to me? Don't give in. Not before. I can't hear. Sorry, or er, Martin, or er, me, I. I know how this call ends. I need to hurry. The message is for you, from Naomi. It's for you, not. The message is for you, not Naomi. Hey! What message? Is there someone else there? It's too late. You're calling who? I know. I'll have to do it now. Too late to... Ah! Ah! What the heck? Did I just do some timey-wimey stuff and I called myself from, like, earlier in the intermissions? Before intermission 2? Or maybe before 1? I think I just heard myself die. Oh... And now... Now 3am. Oh... Then that must be it. I'm sorry, Andres. I'm already dead. Just a gener- Just a generator's on his last leg. You're not quite dead yet. Violet! What on earth? And you're alive! You didn't- well... Yeah, <laughs> I'm still hanging on. Great to, see... Great to see you in the seconds before we're blown up or worse, but... What was that note then? And where's Naomi? Naomi is dead. Damn it. Damn it. Alright then. How much do you know? Kale looks on his last leg. And I got a call for Andres. It's been ass all along in this... Never mind, it's complicated. I can't get it into it when this is probably our last minute alive. Martin, I know more than you at this point. You're with Capras? No, those idiots at NS are the ones screwing it all up. Capras is the cause of it is all, all this. Then, you know about the threads? No, 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 no. That's all wrong. That's, that's where they lost it. There are no threads. It's a loop. A loop? A loop from the end of the world, in this case, tonight, 3am, to last night when I picked up the signal, 1.28am. It's a Soviet project, VKWADJET, Wadget. It's supposed to be rewind, a last play to try and undo the nuclear holocaust. The idea is that if there's an accidental launch, a mistake, anything, they power up VKW and hope things play out differently. But. Whatever hell a device your brother was working on is interfering, is introducing paradoxes. As soon as a paradox crops up, that's it, guaranteed death by fire. No one can figure out the details, but it's like the universe just rejects the impossible and destroys all witnesses. Wait, is this what you heard on the Russian station? Who are you? No, no, that station's the VKW control station. They made contact with me 126 nights ago. Now every night at 128, they send the reactivation signal and all those memories come back. I don't get it. I remember. I keep going through this hour and a half. I've seen the world end 126 times now. Night 2, we worked together. I had the VKW team on the line. You broke the code on Naomi's number station. Then you get a call from Andres at 3am. It's 9am for him. He tells you the VKW station frequency. Paradox, fire, we repeat. Night 16 is the first time anyone dies early. Kale falls off the roof. No suicides until night 31. After Naomi decides to bow out, I started working in secret. Night 44 is the only time that emergency broadcast fails to show. Instead, we get dead air, then a missile. There was a run of nights, 60 to 80. Naomi kept deciphering her numbers and reading something bad, paradoxical. Since then, I've encouraged her suicide. I ran that fake suicide note dozens of times. You, you intentionally got her to kill herself? I know, I'm a monster, but I can't, I can't stop her myself. It's only the past few nights I've drugged Kale. He's overdosed on sleeping meds. I put it in his drink. What? Why? Because I need your help, Martin. If I don't have leverage, you run away and call Andres with a signature for Capras. Capras, there was no signature. Why should I cooperate with you when you've killed Naomi and Kale? 
No one hates me for it more than myself, Martin. But bear with me. Kale isn't dead. I have Anna's eight pills I can give him. I don't know if he'll live, but it's your best shot. What needs to happen? You need to help me, then I give him the antidote. The number station. It's a VKW project signal. Whatever information is in there, we need to end all of this. Then you really don't know what's encoded there? No. If Naomi decodes it, it causes a paradox. I can't do it myself. I don't have the math. Martin, we might have just two minutes, but I need you to decode this. Tell me what's there. We broadcast it. Help me break the loop. It's a random noise. It's just numbers. What old key? I can't... It's RSA. ASCII format. Blocks of four. Someone on the other side. Someone over there encoded it. I have the key. And you expect me to work that out by hand when Naomi is dead? Kale is dying? You've lost your mind and I'll die in a missile strike in any second? If you can't do it, then on night 127, I'll go back to the drawing board. Martin, every time I feel the memories coming back, it hurts. I know I lost a lot of time. I know I lost a long time ago, but I think I had to make the sacrifice. I'm counting you to finish everything. If I don't, then I guess Kale dies, doesn't he? It's more like everyone dies. He's my friend too, for what it's worth. I hate having to use him like this. I hate ha I hate all of this, but it's our only escape. The Naomi's notes. You said you got the keys. I need a pencil, my phone, and some concentration. Let's see what's at the root of the numbers. Damn, it's been three minutes for like five minutes. I mean, it's been three o'clock for like five minutes. This is it. What Naomi copied down. Transcriptions. That's the same sequence that broadcasts around midnight. Every night, it's different. That's the key to the scripting everything that comes after it. I need another key to actually do this. Six, four, three, nine. Same every time from VKW. Okay, the ciphertext. What do I decode? Wait for the interval signal. Five, eight, two, zero. Give me five minutes. Five, eight, I'm not sure you'll two, have it. Zero, I can try, then, but... Three, maybe we'll die, six, probably. But six, somewhere else two, out there, I'll start, like, 127. Three, six, six, two, I... A-M... Philosophy? I thought it was just going to be a VKW key. Four, no, nine, it's English for sure. Six, Hold on. Seven, Jesus, can't you help Kale or something five, while I do this? Eight, no. Two, He's dying, zero, you can save him and you... Three, Last night. Six, I need your help one more six, time after you get that two, message. I revived Kale three, and finished the message. Six, what did six, I do? Two, I won't let it happen. Four, I die, nine, don't I? Six, for something or something. I call someone on the phone and then four, I die. No. Six, You're dead seven, before you can say a word. Five, then I eight, don't. Two, zero, alive. That's the next word, then. Five, I am alive. With you. Two, zero, I don't get it, but... Three, if that's what they need six, at VKW, six, I need to broadcast two, that from the roof antenna before the generator dies. Three, six, that's not all of it. Six, two, I am alive four, with you at true nine, end. Six, Full stop. Seven, you passphrase? How is that the key to all of this? That's why the VKW needs to shut this all down? Violet, how well did you know Naomi? Nobody really knew her, to be honest. She had a friend or family or someone she said. Said the numbers were a message, so a message from him. That's why she killed herself. That's why every night that she saw this message, she immediately went crazy. I don't follow. A message from him, whoever he was, telling her there's some afterlife where they're together. Then she chooses to join him there, see on the other side. Then you think this is some sort of supernatural signal announcing life after death? It's the VKW identifier station. They're beaming that straight from the USSR for a weapons project. So tell me what this message is for and why it exists. It's not possible. That's what Naomi said. Go to the machine. Wait, it's like a ferris from Copras. Martin, it's 301. We're alive and we have the key. Get on the roof and help me broadcast that back to control. Let's break the loop. Uh oh. I, I have no idea what's going on right now. This is so crazy. Something that has to do with flipping Naomi. 
getting very, very intense. Oh my god. Like, hands down, this is definitely the best episode so far. <laughs> it probably will be for the rest of the series. I don't know how it could get better than this. Unless they add, like, some gameplay. Violet, wait, wait up. We still have to hurry. If the backup generator goes out before I can send back the message, after I get it, after all, those nights. Then this is the end of it. Yeah. This is it. The one night out of all of them that the Earth still exists past April 12, 301 a.m. We just need to get that signal back to the DKW team before NF finds a way to screw it all up. We just need a few degrees clockwise. Then, it should be close enough to start sending. So, no more loops? No, this is it. We wake up tomorrow, same as any other day. But, we'll wake up and Naomi will still be dead. And we'll kill too. Still be this. You're well, different person, not violent. Two and a half lives to stop the nuclear holocaust. Almost cheap. There's no other way. Martin, what are you doing? I still have NSA for Kale. Once the attendant's ready, we you have your phone out. I got a call right before you showed up. It was something confused, but the gist of it. The gist of it was that there was a message that was for me, from Naomi. The number station. The key she left. I am alive with you at true end. It means she's alive somewhere. There's a thread where Naomi lives and I live, all of us. Violet, there's a thread somewhere where you can fix everything perfectly. One without any of this. No. Hey, who are you calling? Sorry, er, Martin, er, me, I... I hope how this end call ends. I need to hurry. The message is for you, from Naomi. It's for you, not... What message? Is there someone else there? The message is for you, from Naomi. It's for you, not... The message is for you, not Naomi. Well... I know I'll have to do it now. There. I called Andres Capra's number. I got myself. I told it past me that the message was from Naomi. Set this up. Martin, no. That's a paradox. You told yourself unprompted in the past to make the phone call just you just made. It's 126 nights. It was paradox and hellfire right after the other. Over and over. What you just done is impossible. It can't have happened. And Naomi can't be dead. And neither can Kale. And the world can't be falling into pieces. I've validated it. Keep searching. Someone out there. There's a thread where we all make it. I know you can do it. Yeah. See you on the other side. The Department of Defense issued the following alert. Diagnostic code, Baphomet. The victory is Capras. Thread signature is confirmed. Check your clock. If the time reads past 3.01 a.m., then it is night 127. Thank you for playing. EOM. so like mind blown right now what the hell just what the hell alright can one of you guys explain this to me I am so lost right now I don't know I don't know time time is really confusing ugh it's just a big ball of wibbly wobbly stuff. Ugh. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed Night 4, Episode 4, Doomsday Clock. In the next part, we will have Episode 5, There's a Bad Thing in the Mirror by Suze. I'm really starting to like these. I really, really am. Doomsday Clock is definitely my favorite S for now. 
I don't know if things will spice up even more. I really don't know how you can get better than this than uh, adding gameplay, I guess. Because this was just a straight story, and I liked it. I liked it for what it is. Each character was individual, and it was a great dystopia. Man, I'm kind of just wondering how everything will connect in the end. What does a mysterious man have to do with any of this? If it really is Thaddeus, or maybe it's really some other guy that I just haven't really been noticing. Because I think this guy has like greenish bluish hair, and then Thaddeus had like brown hair I think. I don't know, I might be wrong. But that being that, we you guys night 4 to the 25 nights, or maybe it's 24 nights, I don't even know. <laughs> we'll just say night 4 to Christmas. Night 5, we'll be back tomorrow. See you guys in night 5. Till then guys, ciao. Dang, it's so cold.